Worldwide protests are excellent at heightening the awareness of the cause of anonymous against Scientology. Any organisation that can simultaneously hold protests in Australia, Belgium, Canada, England, Germany, Norway, the Republic of Ireland, the Netherlands, Scotland and the United States is clearly an organisation to be reckoned with. This video deals with the strategy of collectives like Anonymous engaging with a single powerful unit like the cult of Scientology. You really don't have to invent such strategies, of course. Nature has already figured them all out as used by bees against wasps, ants against their prey, and even mongooses against lions. They may be small, but they are legion. Death by a thousand cuts. The effectiveness of such actions is determined by two factors, the rate of propagation of the action signal and the amount of action that the individuals are willing to take. A small response by many is effective. A large response by a few is effective. But for the greatest effect, you need the largest response by the largest number. This strategy is ideally suited for collectives like Anonymous engaging with organizations such as the cult of Scientology. But what are Scientology's weaknesses? What are its vulnerabilities? Well, its primary weakness is so obvious that it's difficult to overlook. Scientology is a business. Cut off the income and the organization will die the slow death of cash starvation. A main source of income for Scientology is the uh, donations for its self-help courses and auditing. To cut off this source of income, we must prevent more people from getting indoctrinated into the cult and make those who have been indoctrinated into the cult realize that if the church was really interested in their welfare, they would give them these courses rather than require them to pay thousands of dollars for them. This is the goal of Anonymous. But how to achieve such a goal? Well, remember the two key parts to the strategy. Propagation of signal, actions by individuals. In order for maximum effect, we need the maximum propagation and the maximum action. Firstly, in order for effective propagation, you, as individuals, must spread the message. Post about it on forums. Write about it in blogs. Make videos about it. Make images about them and host them on servers and tag them with Scientology meta tags. Talk about it with friends. Talk about it with family. Talk about it at water coolers. And so on. Secondly, the message needs to be appealing enough for people who hear it, understand its urgency and its benefit to wider society, and themselves pass it on. Effective propagation of the message requires a convincing message. With Scientology, you don't need to look any further than the court rulings on the subject. For instance, this is from the ruling of the Superior Court of the State of California. This sect, under the pretext of freeing humans, is nothing in reality but a vast enterprise to extract the maximum amount of money from its adept use of pseudo-scientific theories by auditions and stage setting to estrange adepts from their families and to exercise a kind of blackmail against persons who do not wish to continue with the sect. Not to pull a guilt trip, but would you want to look your children in the eye and say that you stood idly by while the exploitation of people for profit under the mask of religion became an acceptable concept? Then there's the lives ruined by Scientology. I've created this video for people to host responses as to how their lives have been ruined by Scientology. This will serve as a repository for any government who wishes to see the effect that Scientology has on people's lives. If you have had your life ruined, take the time to make a video response. Through this act of generosity, you will ensure that others do not suffer the same misfortune of getting involved with Scientology that you did. Add to this Operation Snow White, which Time magazine described as. These break-ins were part of a vast spying operation, created by Hubbard, that's the founder of Scientology, and directed by his wife to gather information on enemies of the church. One Scientology document so identifies 136 government agencies at home and abroad. At its height, the espionage system called Operation Snow White by Hubbard included up to 5,000 covert agents who were placed in government offices, 
foreign embassies and consulates, as well as private organizations critical of Scientology. Hubbard even assembled the dossiers on Richard Nixon and individuals ranging from U.S. senators to members of the Rockefeller family. Such reprehensible actions are those of a crime syndicate, not of a religion. These actions can be found on record, on record in court proceedings. It is also very striking that the crimes of Scientology are real, against real people, prosecuted in real courts, unlike those that Scientology accuses others of. These include breaking into someone's office, stealing stationery, writing bomb threats on them to incriminate Paulette Cooper. These are the lengths that the church has gone to to incriminate people critical of it. With a track record like this, you would have thought that Scientology would prefer to keep a humble silence when the moral behavior of this organization is being discussed. But not at all. Scientology is outspokenly vocal in portraying itself as the poor, defenseless, virtuous victim being unjustly picked on by the rest of the world. The sheer, bull-faced duplicity and hypocrisy is breathtaking. It's quite clear that we are dealing with an organization devoid of conscience or ethics. This brings us to part two. What action do we need to take? We must brand Scientology with its own values. When people hear the word Scientology, it must be with the words that effectively describe the twisted nature of Scientology. Family breaker, merciless, harassment, unlawful, cult, brainwashing, spite, intimidation, indoctrination, religion for profit, immorality, brutality, blackmail, fraud, stalking, infiltration, terrorization, cruelty, malice, robbery, coercion, criminal. We must brand Scientology with its own values. After that, human nature will personally take care of the eradication of this poisonous little cult. This branding needs to take place globally in cyberspace and globally on public notice boards in the real world, especially focused near Scientology media. The message needs to contain four properties and must be eye-catching. It must contain an effective message about Scientology. Enough information must be on the flyer to establish that the data is accurate. It should be possible to read and digest the flyer in a few seconds. A range of cards must be produced that appeal to a range of people from different walks of life. We must make this media and get it on the web and tag it with Scientology meta tags. Scientology is unique in claiming copyright, copyright of its religious symbols. Hence, I have not used them here, nor should centralized servers that can easily be attacked with harassing copyright claims, of which Scientology as a track record, host them. This media should be hosted on personal accounts, then the centralized accounts can supply the URLs for this media. In order for the maximum effect of our operation to brand Scientology with its own values, we need our strategy. Propagation of signal, actions by individuals. Persistence is needed. The larger the response, the more effective the branding. Tailor the message to their location. Put such flyers everywhere. Every public notice board, phone booth, billboard, flex your media muscles, Anonymous. Carry a bunch of business card sized flyers with you everywhere. Place a Scientology flyer on every public notice space that you find that doesn't have one. The most fierce weapon in our arsenal is truth. Once the spotlight of truth is turned on Scientology, the human conscience will not endure the continued presence of the despicable behavior of Scientology in our free society. Once Scientology has been robbed of its mask and bears its true name, its financial demise is a certainty. Victory in a relatively short period of time, maybe a year or two, is a possibility. The size of the church is also a vulnerability. Large businesses take time to adjust. The business model of this cult will be counting on new meat for the grinder. If we can effectively stop this cult, then it will be faced with large debts for salaries and upkeep and no way of making up the shortfall. Bankruptcy. We must propagate the message. We must act. Victory or failure lie within our hands. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duty. 
History awaits to record our actions and the results of them.